Hi friends, in our last video we looked at the CPS process as a whole and the four stages that are involved in it. Now it's time to do a deeper dive into the world of creative problem solving and look at ways of applying this process in our daily lives. Starting with Clarify. I hope you're enjoying this creative journey with me and learning new and exciting things about the fascinating world of creativity. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any videos. We begin the creative problem solving process by thoroughly clarifying the problem we are trying to solve. Now you might say that your problem is already known and pretty obvious and you can skip clarify and move on to the next step. This is often a bad practice. Dr. Roger Firestein explains this in his book Create in a Flash that often what we think is the problem is never the right problem. We should spend a dedicated chunk of time to come up with a problem statement or a creative question that accurately explains our challenge which we are trying to solve. Surprisingly, this can be achieved pretty easily and quickly just by asking a ton of questions. The more questions we can come up with related to our problem, the clearer it gets on what the actual challenge might be. The great scientist Albert Einstein was once asked that if some imminent disaster threatened the world and he had one hour in which he knew he could save it, how would he spend his time? Einstein replied, I would spend the first 55 minutes identifying the problem and the last 5 minutes solving it. For the formulation of a problem is often far more essential than its solution. This is how important clarifying a problem is in the CPS process. Because oftentimes organizations and teams complain that they have been trying to solve a particular problem but gets frustrated when there is no real outcome or results. This is because there is a huge difference in doing things right versus doing the right things. And this is where Clarify plays a major role in the problem solving process. If you like this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more creative content. Also, let me know in the comments below if you see yourself applying this process to any of your problems. Until then, live with creativity.